Good afternoon. With museums now entering their second week of being allowed to open under the public health order, many are wondering why the Bioparks Aquarium is still closed. News 13's Annalisa Pardo looked into why she is live this evening from the aquarium. Annalisa. Well, Dean, uh, the aquarium tells me they were ready to open when museums got the OK just a few weeks back, but quickly learned they were not included in the amendment. We're still waiting for the green light, but we are absolutely ready. According to the public health order, aquariums are considered a close contact recreational facility, along with interactive museums and movie theaters, which aren't allowed to open. While closed, the aquarium says it fine tuned its reopening plan saying the aquarium does pose some unique challenges when it comes to reopening. One is um, just the size of the building and the way people move throughout the building and they want to stop and they want to watch the otters. They want to look at the sharks in the tank. They want to stop and look. So we have to really think about what's that fine line, that dance that we can have people do when they come in. How many people can we let in safely? The aquarium has submitted its reopening plan to the state, which includes doing timed ticketing, selling 30 tickets every half hour. Its touch pools and touch screen displays will be closed, and guests will follow a one-way route through the building. The aquarium also has these stanchions up to minimize people touching the glass. Now, we reached out to the governor's office to see when aquariums may be able to open, but we have not heard back. Dean? Now, one thing that will also be different for guests when the aquarium reopens, because so few people are allowed inside the aquarium at a time, a ticket for the botanic gardens will no longer grant you access to the aquarium. You will have to buy a separate ticket.